What it do, Sensei Crew? It's Anime Sensei here, and we're back in this joint. We're going to be doing a second upload of the day. And probably to end it off after I do my fourth upload, I'm probably just going to scream. Anyway, we're going to be doing What If Naruto Was a Hyuga, Part 6. Also, Road to 200. As we last live off, with both Naruto and Sasuke both being impaled into the wall, as the figure who impaled them walks up to them, right after putting up a, a barrier around them so no one could interfere. As the figure approaches both Naruto and Sasuke, he suddenly takes off his cloak, revealing himself, as he seemed to have bright, bright red eyes, the ones that could kill, and dark black hair. As at first, Sasuke had had flashbacks to Itachi, but he realized this figure was not Itachi, since this person did not possess the shotting gun. As suddenly he speaks after a moment of silence. Hmm. If it isn't the Nine Tails brat and the Uchiha brat, you know? Honestly speaking, I came here because I have a mission. This mission is to kidnap you all, the both of you. But you know what? I'll give you two a fighting chance. Because right now, while we fight, your Hokage will be fighting my boss currently. He did send me to take the both of you out, though. So, I'm going to have to do my job. <laughs> Sorry to say. But you know what? I'll give you both a fair shot. As he takes both of the swords out of Naruto and Sasuke's chest. As they both cough off blood as they fall to their knees. With Naruto first speaking up. You bastard, you're gonna pay. <clears throat> sure, I will, Nine Tails. As suddenly, the figure suddenly reveals his name. Anyway, how about an introduction? My name is Kuza. And I will take over the Hidden Leaf Village. But hey, why not we'll deal with you brats first? Since that is my mission. You know what? How about a fair fight? Nine Tails, Uchiha Brat. As Naruto's wounds were slowly healing, as he decided it would be the best time to stall, as he had realized Sasuke's wounds won't heal as fast as his will, realizing he might need Sasuke's help if they're gonna beat this person. As Naruto touched Sasuke's back, as Sasuke was slowly starting to heal, around the same pace as Naruto was, as Naruto decides to stall for a little more. So, what clans do you have with the Hidden Leaf Village, and why do you want to destroy it and rule it? Hmm. Well, that's for none of your business. Hmm, that was just all I needed. Are you ready, Sasuke? Naruto said as he stands up. Finally, as something was different, he had unleashed a new type of power. Chakra. A new type of chakra. As suddenly, three tails were surrounded by him. <laughs> You're gonna pay for this. <laughs> Naruto says, getting ready to fight. As Sasuke slowly gets up. <laughs> I told you, never to mess with the new Chiha elite. As he closes his eyes momentarily for a second. As everyone in the stands is pretty much shocked with the power that's coming from the two boys. As when Sasuke opens back his eyes, you can see the manga kill shutting down. As... If you didn't watch the last part, Kakashi did die, so this was the great way for Sasuke to unlock it. As he un unlocked the Mongekyo shutting up, suddenly a ribcage had surrounded around him. A small one, but a ribcage, no less. <laughs> Are you ready, Naruto? Let's get it, Sasuke! As both the boys charge at the figure. As Kuzo was able to jump up into the air, firing a water-style water dragon jutsu. With Naruto and Sasuke both running, being able to dodge it. As Naruto suddenly grabs Sasuke's hand, as he slings into the air as fast as he could. As Sasuke had punched Kuzo straight in the chest. As he had sent him flying back into one of the tuning Zen walls. As Sasuke had did a triple black flip. Firing off a fire style majestic destroyer flame, something no one had seen. With Kakashi, if he were alive at the moment, he'd comment on it. With Mike Guy actually recognizing that move, 
from the famous Madara Uchiha. As the fireball goes straight towards him, as Kuzo was barely able to dodge using an earth style earth wall jutsu. As Naruto watches this, he charges toward Kuzo. As they both exchange fists, with Naruto managing to get the drop on him, as he manages to punch him in the face. With Kuzo getting this, realizing that Naruto was off guard for a second, he got a kunai slashing Naruto straight in the face. As blood came off, everyone in the stands were scared, as they actually could see that the boys were suddenly starting to have the down. But as everyone, anyone who was paying close attention could see that Naruto had formed another tail. As Naruto went from standing on both two of his feet to all fours, as another tail had generated with more chakras surrounding his body, as suddenly Naruto started charging at Kuza in a rampage, firing off seven tailed beast bombs, with Kuza being able to dodge only barely. As Sasuke had decided to be the first, the good time to get him with the line barrage, as he had gotten him halfway. Kuza had managed to escape as Naruto had seen this was the perfect opportunity to hit him with a tailed beast bomb. As he fired it away, he shot Kuza straight in the neck, pretty much disabling him for a second. As that was where his main chakra point was, it actually managed to kind of power him down. As currently, Kuza could only move his legs as he had ran towards both Naruto and Sasuke. Jumping into the air as he was firing off. Attack, attack, a tactic as his leg was suddenly surrounded by fire as he went charging towards the both of them. As Naruto, who had reverted back to his two tailed state, formed a tailed beast bomb in his fist. As Sasuke did the Chidori, bearing it off. Are you ready, Naruto? <laughs> Let's do it, Sasuke. As both of the boys go charging towards him, as they all clash together. A huge shockwave went over as it actually managed to destroy the barrier as everyone went flying back. With Kuzo seemingly knocked out, with Naruto and Sasuke barely holding on to consciousness. As Naruto had realized he had to make it, but he couldn't as he had passed out. As we fast forward about 30 minutes or so later, as Naruto wakes up, looking around him, Everyone around him seems to be passed out. As he looks in the sands, he can see the Hokage, who's currently in the fight right now with a tall figure who has a cloak on. As Naruto realizes the Hokage is starting to lose, he realizes he needs to help him out fast. As Naruto manages to teleport to the stands, as Naruto can witness the battle that's going on. Lord Hokage, we can, I can help you. No, Naruto. I have to do this. As the third, the fourth, the third Hokage suddenly does a few hand seals. As he does something known as the Reaper Death Seal. As he had sealed the figure's arms. And was trying to get his legs, but couldn't make it in time. As the Lord Hokage had managed to do that, he had actually passed away. As Naruto had ran to his body, his tears suddenly started going down his face. Grandpa Hokage, please don't die on me, please. Naruto says, as he starts to wipe his tears, Lord Hokage mutters out one more word. Naruto, please protect the world. As he passes away. There's about 30 30 minutes or so, all the Jonin nearby came to witness as they see Naruto right next to Hokage's body. As he seems to be enraged. As the Jonin were going to approach him, Jiraiya, who appeared out of nowhere, decided he'd be the best one to come for Naruto. Listen, Naruto, I understand how you feel. Trust me, I do. That was my sensei. But to honor his death, what were his last words to you? <sighs> to protect the world. Well, we're going to do that. I'm going to train you to make you the best ninja you can be. I promise you that. As Naruto and Jirai shake hands. As Jirai embraces Naruto in a hug. As he can realize Naruto's in a pretty vulnerable state at the moment. 
Gotta say, that fight was pretty good, kid. Jiraiya says, giving Naruto props. As everyone around him had started to wake up. As everyone had approached Naruto, thanking him, treating him as if he was actually a hero now. As the villagers had also came, congratulating him, similar to the pain arc. As they had all thrown him and Sasuke into the air, congratulating them for their win. As we fast forward about a week or so, as we're going to go to the third Hokage's funeral. As everyone had said their farewells and goodbyes to him, Naruto was the last one to. As Naruto starts to talk, hello, Hidden Leaf Village. As you know, I'm Naruto Uzumaki, and the third Okage was a very important person in my life. Sure, he tried his best, but he was a really good man. Always tried to make people happy. Granted, his approaches weren't always the best. He always did have the best ideals and heart. We will truly miss him. As Naruto points down his flowers on the grave as he walks away. As about an hour or so after the funeral, Naruto stays behind. As someone had actually approached him. Someone he had actually not talked to all that much. As he looks to behind him, it's Ino. Not only Ino, but Sasuke and Sakura. As Ino approaches Naruto first, listen, Naruto, I know we weren't the best of friends, but how about some ramen? She says, offering Naruto a hand up as he was sitting down on the ground currently. As she could tell, Naruto was vulnerable. She'd actually grown to like Naruto a lot more over the months, and she decided this would be the best way to help him out. As Naruto grabs her hand as she helps him up. As they all start to laugh and talk about things, as Naruto, for some reason, felt a little different around, you know, a lot different than how he would with Sakura or anyone else, a new type of feeling, a feeling he'll later figure out. As they all have fun that night, fast forward the next day, as Jiraiya appears in Naruto's window about an hour or so after he had woken up. Hey, Naruto, let's go. It's time to hit the road. Where are we going? Well, we're going to be going to find my teammate. Her name was Tsunade. And she's basically the slug princess. And the slug Sani, basically. We're going to find her to be the new Hokage. Since currently we do need one. And the council threatened me. If we don't find her, I'd have to become Hokage. So, unfortunately, we're going to have to go find her. As... Both Naruto and Jiraiya decide to leave out. As Naruto had actually said his farewells to CM7, as in this time, they actually know Naruto went. Because in canon, I'm pretty sure they weren't aware of the fact until Sasuke hadn't went to go look for Naruto. As both Naruto and Jiraiya are on the road, Jiraiya decides to let Naruto in on something. <sighs> Alright, Naruto, I think it's time I tell you the truth. What do you mean, Jiraiya? Listen. So, I think it's time we talk about your heritage. Specifically where you're from. As you know, you're from the Hyuga clan. Yeah, I am. Well, listen, your father. He was the fourth Hokage. His, mean, his name was Minato Hyuga. And your mother was from the Uzumaki clan. Her name was Kushina Uzumaki. Your father, well, he was half. Half Hyuga, half Namikaze. The Namikaze clan were a clan who weren't too well known, but were average no less. Minato's mother was married to Minato's father, as she was a Hyuga and Minato's father was a Namikaze. As Minato himself, he was raised by his grandmother, as unfortunately the Hyuga clan had forced which we'll call it, had killed them actually. So, um, as Minato forgave the Hyuga clan eventually, but did still hate what they did to his parents. As one day he had saved Kushina as she was getting kidnapped by hidden cloud villagers. Not villagers, but ninjas. As he had leaped in to save her. That's when their bond had started. 
As eventually they had had you. As Naruto, listening to the story, couldn't help but shed a tear. As he knew how good, how great people his parents were. As he asked Jiraiya a question, so how come you didn't tell me until now, Jiraiya? Well, I had specific orders from the old man, and since he's not here anymore, unfortunately, I decided I'd tell you. You you deserve to know the truth, and you're mature enough now. And I'm sorry if I if you can't forgive me for not telling you. It's okay, Jiraiya, but wait a minute. You're my godfather, aren't you? How'd you know? Well, I don't know. The hints just started coming to me. Like, one, I heard people mention that Jiraiya had a godson, which had something to do with the fourth Okage. So when you add all that up, you gotta get the right car facts. <laughs> Jiraiya couldn't help but smirk at the boy, as he could see that he definitely inherited his father's intelligence. Well, that's correct, Naruto, and it's time for you to learn a new technique. That technique you were working on before is way too dangerous, which we will have to shelf for a little bit. Unfortunately, you couldn't use it during the tuning exams, for obvious reasons. So, now I want to teach you something known as the Rasengan. The Rasengan is basically a jutsu where you rotate your chakra into your palm. There's a few exercises to it, so first, we're going to have to go into one of these villages. As they pass by into a nearby town, as Naruto gets ready to go, as Jiraiya suddenly takes his bag, saying, listen, Genkai, you need to be careful. So how about this? I get the coins, you get the bills. As Jiraiya takes all Naruto's coins, giving him $100. All right, go spend that, have fun, be back around seven, meet me in the forest. As Naruto takes his money, he walks around the village as he had actually met some pretty nice people. As this was something he wasn't too used to in the Hidden Leaf Village. As granted, people did treat him like a hero now. But, eh, it wasn't as fun. And this place was pretty cool. He got to play some cool games, carnival games. Though he did try ninjutsu, but this person did stop him. So he couldn't really succeed with that. But he had fun, no less, as he had managed to buy a race ball from a nearby stand. As Naruto was having pretty much a lot of fun, we fast forward to the Hidden Leaf Village, as Sasuke is currently waiting for Kakashi at a candy shop. As suddenly, Kakashi had actually appeared, but he seemed off for some reason. As they talk about well jutsu and training, Sasuke eventually goes off. As when Kakashi's on his way back to his house, he runs into Kuranai and Asuma. Hmm. Well, if it isn't Asuma and Kuranai, long time no see, Kakashi says to his old time friends. Hmm. Wow, Kakashi, don't act all brand new on us just because you've got a pretty good gaming squad, Asuma says with a smirk as he lights up his cigarette. With Kuranai in the back nodding. Anyway, where are you guys off to? <laughs> Let me guess a date, huh? Kakashi says. As everyone could tell, he was smirking underneath that mask of his. <laughs> For your information, we actually are, Kakashi. Asuma says. With all the amount of pride he could ever muster up. Proud of the fact that he had a girlfriend like Kurano. As they all continued to joke off and laugh. As they were actually pretty near the gate of the village, as they had seen two figures approaching. As they approached them, suddenly, Kakashi had a really bad feeling. As he had looked one of them in the eyes, he already knew it was trouble. Get back! As he pulls both Kuranai and Asuma with him as he does a triple backflip. As Itachi is the first one to reveal himself. Well, if it isn't the great Kakashi Atake. I'm surprised your sensing skills are this good, though. Then again, you can't be too surprised. As next, his partner, Kisame, the wielder of Samehara, reveals himself. Hmm, interesting, Kakashi. I heard a lot about you. So, Itachi, can I kill him? Unfortunately not, Kisame. We're here to keep a low profile. It's unfortunate of the 
recent death of the Hokage, which I'm honestly sorry about if I could have changed anything. But that's not what. Listen, I don't want to hear your BS, Kakashi. I don't want to hear your BS, Itachi. Kakashi says, activating his three to most shot and gone. As both Asuma and Kur and I decided to get on guard, as Asuma took out his chakra blades. Hmm. Well, if we have to resort to violence, we resort to violence. As both Kur and I and Asuma charged towards Kisame, as Kisame charts hitting them with his large sword, as Kur and I was able to dodge, same with Asuma. As Asuma managed to scratch Kisame with his chakra blade, using his chakra hands to put even more damage on it. As Kurna is actually able to catch Kisame and Genjutsu. A Genjutsu where basically he stabs her. She stabs him repeatedly. With Kisame eventually breaking out. As Asuma was able to take hostage of his sword for a second. As Kurna had used this chance to uppercut him in the face. Sending him back. As Asuma had actually tried to wield his sword. Ended up failing at the end. And somehow that actually managed to slip out of Asuma's hand. As this is going down, Kakashi and Itachi are staring each other down as Kakashi decides to make the first move. As he goes charging towards Itachi with the Chidori, with Itachi swiftly dodging. As he had suddenly revealed one of his hands, punching Kakashi square in the face. As he had did the body flicker swiftly, being right behind Kakashi, quickly doing a phoenix ball jutsu. As, in, um, as only two of the Phoenix Balls had managed to catch Kakashi, as the other one had actually missed. As Kakashi could analyze that, Itachi was pretty good, realizing that he'd have to keep his best card up and not to get caught in the Sukuyomi. As before Kakashi could even think, he had got caught. As both Kurana and Asuma were clueless on what was going on, they had both went to go charge at Itachi, foolishly looking him in the eye. As they both all get caught in the Genjutsu. As Itachi realizes that Shinobi are coming, they decide they should leave. As Mike Guy had actually appeared slightly after they left. As he looked down at his fallen Joni, deciding to take them back to Kakashi's house to let them rest. As Sasuke, about 20 minutes or so later, he busts into the room looking for Kakashi. As at first he was confused. What's going on here? Why are all the Joni passed out and why are they at Kakashi's house? As Sasuke suddenly starts to add it up in his head. What the? As before he could even think anymore. Is it true that Itachi Uchiha has busted into the Hidden Leaf Village looking for Naruto? As Mike Guy slaps his forehead in frustration, suddenly Sasuke froze as something clicked in his head. When the name Itachi was mentioned, his whole persona changed. Sasuke suddenly got a huge rage in his eye as his manga kill shutting on actually activated again. As he ran out as fast as he could, I gotta find Itachi! Sasuke says as he runs around the village looking for people who've seen Naruto. I know where he is. As he eventually went to Ichiraku Ramen with the ramen guy telling him what was going on. As we fast forward back to Naruto, as he had actually went to meet with Jiraiya as they eventually decided to get a hotel. As Naruto was currently practicing his Shadow Clone Jutsu in the hotel as Jiraiya had went out to go gamble. As this is all going down, Naruto's in his room training. Basically just practicing the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Hmm. Man, I can't believe Jirai left me in here just to go gamble. Eh, no matter. I'll just train for the most part. As Naruto decides to train, suddenly he got a knock on the door. As he looks to it, he can see a figure with red eyes. As he's having deja vu to the last person, but realizing these eyes were different. These eyes were special. As suddenly Naruto opens the door, he looks at someone who looks like Sasuke, but older. As Naruto suddenly starts to add it up, it must be Itachi Uchiha from the bingo book. 
As Naruto looks to the next person, he can see it's Kisame, someone he had also recognized from the bingo book. Oh no, this isn't good. As Naruto tries to run out the window, suddenly Kisame grabs him by the collar. <laughs> Listen, brat, we came here for one thing. As before he could finish the sentence, Naruto uppercutted him, doing a backflip. First of all, don't mess with Naruto, Yuka. And second of all, <laughs> you look stupid. Oh, you little brat. You're gonna pay. As Kisame starts swinging his sword back and forth as he destroys everything in his way. With Itachi suddenly realizing he doesn't want to cause any commotion. He tells Kisame to chill out. Kisame, you don't want to draw attention to us. Just chill out and it'll be okay. And you, brat. As before Itachi could consider... Sasuke had appeared. Itachi! As he starts charging towards Itachi with full rage in his eyes, as Itachi noticed something different about his little brother. He had the eyes. He had the eyes. As Itachi at first had tried to overwhelm his eyes, putting him in the Sukuyomi. As in this time, it wasn't as strong and won't affect his brain as much. As Naruto, who's watching this, uses this opportunity to punch Itachi in the face, enhancing it with water style. As he manages to jump back, suddenly Itachi gets ready to do the Amaterasu on Naruto as Jiraiya had appeared out of nowhere. Have no fear, Jiraiya is here. <laughs> Jiraiya says with proud confidence. As he makes it there, suddenly... As Naruto looks to Jiraiya, he can also see that my guy had arrived. As Itachi decided this was the perfect time to escape, as he took Kisame with him. As all that was left was my guy, Naruto, Jiraiya, and passed out Sasuke. As Jiraiya tells my guy to take Sasuke back to the village, as he still does give Naruto the jumpsuit like he did in canon, but. Naruto suddenly asks Dry, So, while you were out, did you at least get the balloon so I can start this new exercise? Because, I mean, now I gotta help Sasuke and we gotta find your teammate. So, at the very least, I need something under my arsenal. Hmm. Alright then. Tomorrow. As we fast forward about the next day, as both Naruto and Jiraiya are in the forest, as Jiraiya hands Naruto a normal balloon, a rubber ball, more so. As he explains the directions to Naruto. Okay, Naruto. So, basically, you just need to get chakra and rotate it in your palm. First of all, you got to form it in your palm first. So. Sorry, y'all. First of all, just bust the balloon open using your chakra only. Okay? As Naruto suddenly takes the balloon in his hand, a rubber ball in his hand, as he tries to manifest it, his chakra into it. As after a few failed attempts, he had actually managed to, as he had controlled his chakra properly. As remember, Naruto's a Hyuga, and the Hyugas are known for having pretty good chakra control. So, his chakra control here would be a lot better than he usually is. So, yeah. As we go about mm, three days later, as both Naruto and Jiraiya... I'd actually decided to stop by in a nearby town. As by this point, Naruto had actually done both exercises, passing both. As the water balloon exercise was a lot more difficult than Naruto initially thought. As the first time, he had actually got water spilled all over him. As Naruto thinks back to it, cursing Jiraiya. As Naruto suddenly says, I'm hungry. Can we go eat, Jiraiya? Fine. As they go back to a nearby diner, they see Shizune, a pink, I mean, not a, a pink pig, a woman with pigtails who's blonde, and a girl with black hair. As first, Jiraiya points out, shouting out, Tsunade? Jiraiya, the woman yells back at him. As Naruto and Jiraiya both approach the group, as both Tsunade and Jiraiya were staring at each other, both just analyzing each other, realizing how far 
and how long it's been since they last seen each other. So, Jiraiya, what are you doing here? Let me guess. The old man sent you. <laughs> Unfortunately, the old man isn't here anymore. <laughs> it's about time. He honestly just wasn't really that good of a Hokage. As Naruto at this point was getting pretty mad. Who was this woman and how dare she talk about the Hokage? First of all, she has no right to talk about the dead, no less the Hokage. Besides Jiraiya, Hokage is a fool's job. You just get yourself killed. <sighs> Sonata, you can have your own viewpoints on this, but we came here to get you to become the sixth Hokage. I mean the fifth Hokage. Like I said, the Hokage is a fool's job. The first Hokage was a fool. <laughs> the second Hokage. The third Hokage. Because he's dead now. And the fourth. <laughs> if anything, he was the dumbest of them all. With all that hope in his mind. Thinking he could be a Hokage. As this was Naruto's snapping point. How dare she talk about his father. Hey you, old woman. If you want to talk. Why don't you talk about your mother? Do you talk you have your do you talk about your mother like that, old woman? As Naruto steps on the table, getting even more angry. Cause you're a pretty old woman, I'm surprised. You obviously have no respect. As Tsunade glares back at Naruto with both of them glaring daggers at each other. You know what? Let's settle this, brat, Tsunade says, cracking her knuckles. As both Naruto and Tsunade walk out the bar. <laughs> Alright, brat. I don't even need to use my fingers. I'll use one finger. Fair enough? <laughs> Fine. And if you, how about this? If I win, you come back to the village, become Okage, and I get that necklace. As Shizune had got caught off guard with this and was going to try to warn Naruto, but Tsunade had interrupt her, interrupted her right after. All right, Brett, you have a deal. And if I win, you cannot. You will give up your hope. Not only that, you'll give up being a ninja. Fair enough? <laughs> All right, we have a deal. That's both Naruto and Tsunade's shape. On it. Three, two, one, go! As both Naruto and Tsunade get on the guard. As Naruto charges at Tsunade first, going for the punch. As she's able to do a cartwheel, basically dodging it. As Naruto had went charging towards her, hitting with a fury of punches. As she was able to dodge swiftly each time. Suddenly Naruto had used a technique that was catching Tsunade off guard. As suddenly he created a shadow clone, as the shadow clone started to rotate Shocker into his palm. As he went charging towards Tsunade with incredible speed, as this side caught on her off guard. How does this boy know the Rasengan? This was something only the fourth knew. As before she could know, Naruto was right in front of her. As a quick second last move, she suddenly used her other hand, both of her hands, to make an earthquake. To catch Naruto off guard as Naruto ended up hitting the ground with the Rasen gun as he jumps back. Hmm. <laughs> you lose, Brad. Actually, no. I win. Because the, remember, the deal was you use only a finger and you used another. You used both hands. So I win by default. <laughs> Find them, Brad. You win this. But how about this? If you can master the Rasengan within a day, I'll come back and even give you the necklace. But if you can't, you let me go. Fair enough? Fine. As we fast forward about the next day, as Naruto's training in the forest, as Suzune comes to confront Naruto, listen, I really don't think you should try to get that necklace off of Lady Tsunade. It's honestly dangerous, and I wouldn't want you to die. Because you can die from it. It's cursed. Everyone who's worn it, who's not Lady Tsunade, has died. So just back out of the bet, and you won't die. <laughs> Screw that. A bet is a bet. You can't change that. And if she wants to talk to Mac about the Hokages, 
Well, she's gonna have to pay for that. That's just something I cannot ignore. Sorry to say. As Naruto dismisses Suzune, as she had tried a few more times, eventually just giving up, realizing that this boy was about as stubborn as Lady Tsunade herself. As later that day, Naruto had went to go find Tsunade, as he had seen a note. Dear brat, unfortunately our brat, our bet is over because someone had to interrupt. As Naruto could see the initial O, as he had thought about it for a second. He showed it to Jiraiya, as Jiraiya had realized this was Orochimaru who had taken her. As he had also written, recognized the handwriting, Lady Tsunade was kidnapped by Orochimaru. As Naruto, Jiraiya, and Shizune all tracked down Lady Tsunade, as they had found her and Orochimaru in a cave. As Naruto and Jiraiya come out, saying, hmm, if it isn't Orochimaru, uh, Jiraiya, why do you have to come? I was just about to hang out with Tsunade-chan. <laughs> I guess there won't be no fun then, Jiraiya. Anyway, you always were a fool, thinking you could challenge me. And look, you brought your little apprentice, the boy Wonder. <laughs> okay then, let's get it. Kabuto, come out! Yes, the little Rochimaru. As Kabuto comes out, as Naruto recognized him. You. So you were a traitor. Can't really be a traitor if you were never on their side, brat. Kabuto says in response. As they all glare each other down, suddenly, both Orochimaru and Kabuto do the summoning jutsu with both Naruto and Sas. Dang it, Naruto and Jiraiya doing the same. As each of their summonings had burst through underground, as now they were on normal surface. As Tsunade and Shizune were both watching in the background, shocked that the boy could perform summoning jutsu at the young age of 12. As... Naruto had commanded Gamabunta to shoot a water bullet. Well, Orochimaru had commanded Manda to send a poisoning shot. As the summons had fought each other for some time on, suddenly they had to reverse summon as it was becoming too much. As Naruto and Jiraiya realized they had to take them in hand-to-hand -hand combat, as Naruto went charging towards Kabuto, punching him straight in the gut. As when Kabuto had gotten back up, he seemed fully healed. As Naruto could realize that Kabuto was able to heal himself instantly, so he had to find a way around that. As him and Kabuto had clashed fists for a while, he had managed to drop kick him in the face, eventually grabbing his arm as he had slammed him back and forth into the ground. Using this as it was a great time to get him, he suddenly showed off his new technique as he had gotten the Shadow Clone to hold down Kabuto. As Naruto teleported to the air, he had another clone with him, putting chakra into his palm. As it was starting to rotate, it seemed to be something more of an orb. As Naruto crashed back down, getting Kabuto with the Rasengan, sending him into the dirt. As he seemed to be pretty much deep down, as Naruto had looked at Tsunade, who was in shock at the fact that the boy had actually mastered the Rasengan, realizing that he had won the bet, realizing though this wasn't the best time to talk about that. As after Jiraiya finishes up his fight with Orochimaru, Orochimaru comments one last time, I'll be back. And watch your back, boy. Let's just say the people you care about, or even the people you're equivalent with, they can turn your back easily as Orochimaru leaves. With Naruto approaching Tsunade, opening his hand. <laughs> so, bracelet, I mean necklace, as Tsunade takes it off, giving it to Naruto. As he puts it on, Naruto's luck suddenly feels different. Hmm. <laughs> all right, well, let's head back to the village. As they all head back to the village. As this is where I'm gonna be leaving it off. I hope you guys enjoyed. 
Anime Sensei, out. Road to 200.